اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم حضرت زینب شیئر و در برادرز اور سسٹر دی ایکسٹرونری پوزیشن اف ہیونگ سچ ایکزامپلز ٹو لک اپ ٹو ایمولیٹ اینڈ لرن فرام از ار گرانڈ فادر دی پروفیٹ آف اللہ ہر مدر فاطمہ تو صحرا ڈاٹر آف دی پروفیٹ اینڈ ہر فادر امام علی علیہ السلام کزن اینڈ برادر آف دی پروفیٹ ان دی پیور انوائرمنٹ دیٹ سراؤنڈیڈ ہر She absorbed the teachings of Islam that her grandfather imparted and after him, her father. Here too, she learned to master all household skills with great effort. She had barely attained the tender age of seven when her beloved mother passed away. Sometime later, Imam Ali a.s. married Umm al-Banin, whose devotion and pledge encouraged Hazrat Zainab a.s. in her learning. While still a young girl, she was fully able to care for and be responsible for the running of her father's household, as much as she cared for the comforts and ease of her brothers and sisters. In her own wants, she was generous to the poor, homeless, and parentless. From very early on, she developed an unbreakable bond of attachment to her older brother, Imam Hussein alayhi salam. At times, when as a baby in her mother's arms, she could not be pacified and made to stop crying, she would quieten down upon being held by her brother, and there she would sit quietly, gazing at his beautiful face. Before she would pray, she used to first cast a glance at the face of her beloved brother. In her character, she reflected the attributes of those who raised her, in soberity and serenity, She was likened to Umm al-Mu'mineen Khadija, her grandmother, in chastity and modesty to her mother, Fatima to Sahra, in eloquence to her father, Ali, in forbearance and patience to her brother, Imam Hassan, and in bravery and courage of the heart to Imam Hussain, alayhi salam. Her face reflected her father's awe and her grandfather's reverence. When the time came for marriage, She was married in a simple ceremony to her first cousin, Abdullah bin Jafar al-Tayyar. Abdullah had been brought up under the direct care of the Prophet. After his death, Imam Ali became his supporter and guardian until he came of age. He grew up to be a handsome youth with pleasing manners and was known for his sincere hospitality to guests and selfless generosity to the poor and needy. Together. This young couple had five children, of whom four were sons, Ali, An, Muhammad, and Abbas, and one daughter, Umm Ruthum. The marriage of Bibi Zainab did not lessen her strong attachment to her family. Two conditions were written into the marriage contract. A. That Bibi Zainab would be allowed at least once every day to go and see her brothers, and B. that she would go with Imam Hussein when he went on a journey. In Medina, it was Zainab's practice to hold regular meetings for women in which she shared her knowledge and taught them the precepts of the deen of Islam laid out in the Holy Quran. Her gatherings were well and regularly attended. She was able to impart the teachings with such clarity and eloquence that she became known as Fasihar, skillfully fluent and Baligha, intensely eloquent. The depth and sincerity of her knowledge earned her the name given to her by her nephew, Imam Ali Zain al-Abidin alayhi salam of Alima Ghayri Mu'allim, she who has knowledge without being taught. Zainab alayhi salam was also nicknamed Zahida and Abida, which means devoted, because Of her piety and devotion to prayer. She found little of interest in worldly adornments, always preferring the bliss and comfort of the next world over that of this world. She used to say that for her, this life was as a resting place to relieve fatigue along a journey. Humble and of high morals, her main concern was to strive to please Allah.